Hello, in this video I'm going to solve the following problem for you. This is a problem on the topic of complex numbers, basics. Let us read the problem together first. Let Z and W be complex numbers such that the absolute value of W is not equal to 1 and the absolute value of Z minus 2 W all over 2 minus Z times W bar equals to 1. What is the modulus of Z? That would be a good idea if you pause the video at this point and try to solve the problem yourself first. If you do the calculations correctly, the answer that you will get will be as follows. The modulus of Z is simply equals to 2. Okay, now let us solve the problem. The first thing we can do is to use this formula for absolute value of complex numbers. So let us say that I have two complex numbers, one of them z, the other one w, and then I am interested to calculate the absolute value of this fraction. We know that we can do it in that way. We can write the absolute value of the numerator, and then I can write that, and then divide it by the absolute value of the denominator. Okay, so I want to use this for, uh, relation here and then I can split this one absolute value to the absolute value of the numerator and the absolute value of the denominator. Okay, so this becomes absolute value of z minus 2w over absolute value of 2 minus zw bar and then this is supposed to be equal to 1. Of course, this fraction is equal to 1, so it means the numerator of this fraction should be equal to the denominator of the fraction. Yes? Okay, and then usually this is a common trick. When you want to solve something related to the absolute value, it's a good idea to use this formula that if you have absolute value of a complex number, say z, and then to power 2, this is equal to z multiplied by the conjugate of z. Okay, so that's also important. So because you see a power of 2 here, and I want to use this for the absolute values on the left and right, it motivates me to raise both sides to power 2. Okay, so this will give me absolute value of z minus 2w squared is equal to the absolute value of 2 minus zw squared. But now, absolute value of any complex number to power 2 is the complex number multiplied by the conjugate of that complex number. So here, the absolute value of this complex number is the complex number itself multiplied by the conjugate of the complex number. And I will do the same thing for the right-hand side. So the left-hand side can be simply written as z minus 2w multiplied by z minus 2 w totally bar on the right hand side the same so 2 minus z w bar multiplied by 2 minus z w bar and then totally bar yes and then of course we have formulas for a uh, conjugate for example if i have two complex numbers z1 minus z2 and I want to take the conjugate of this difference, I can do it separately. I can take the conjugate of the first one, I can take the conjugate of the second one, and I can subtract them. For example, we also know that if I have a complex number, I conjugate it once, I conjugate it another time, it will go back to the same complex number here. And we also have it for multiplication. So if I have two complex numbers, z1 and z2, I multiply them, I want to take the conjugate, this is possible to conjugate separately, okay? So conjugate z1, conjugate z2, and then multiply. So in other words, it doesn't matter if I multiply first, then conjugate, or conjugate separately first, and then multiply. Okay, so using these ideas, I can actually continue a little bit here. For example, this conjugation here goes to z bar and then minus 2w bar, but 2w bar can be also viewed as 2 bar w bar, but 2 bar is equal to 2 because of 2 is real, so its conjugate is equal to itself. Okay, so I will use that. So the left-hand side can be written as z minus 2w, multiplied by z bar minus 2w bar. On the right hand side I have 2 minus zw bar. The second one 
So the bar goes for two, so it becomes two bar minus z w bar bar. Then it two bar is just two minus the, the other one becomes z bar times w bar bar. But because of that rule, it is just simply two minus z bar w. So two minus z bar w is the answer for the second conjugation. Two minus z bar w. Okay, now I will try to multiply them term by term here. Here the same. But you remember, when I multiply z by z bar, because of that formula, it becomes absolute value of z squared. Okay, and then the next one, when I multiply, it becomes simply minus 2z w bar. And then I will multiply this one here. So this becomes minus 2w z bar. And then finally, when I multiply this by that, it becomes positive 4, but w times w bar, according to the same relation, becomes the absolute value of w squared. Okay, so this becomes plus 4, the absolute value of w squared. On the right-hand side, I will also do the same thing. 2 times 2 is 4, then I have minus 2z bar w, then I have minus 2z w bar, and then finally, when I multiply this by that one, first of all, this minus sign and that minus sign becomes positive. Then z, z bar becomes absolute value of z squared and w, w bar becomes absolute value of w squared. So I can just simply write it as absolute value of z squared times absolute value of w squared. Then see what happens. This minus 2z bar w and this minus 2z bar w are canceled minus 2zw bar and minus 2zw bar are cancelled. Now what I will do, I move these two terms to the left. So the left hand side, I have absolute value of z squared. I have plus 4 absolute value of w squared. I move the other term to the left. So absolute value of z squared, absolute value of w squared with a minus sign and minus 4 what is left on the right hand side nothing so i put zero so the only thing that is left for us is to be able to factorize the left hand side okay and that is also uh, extremely simple so for example here i can take these two this one and that one i can factor a four out and here i can factor minus absolute value of z squared out yes so if i take 4 out, then I will have absolute value of z squared minus 1, and then minus absolute value of z squared. So between this one and that one, I am pulling minus absolute value of z squared. So here, w absolute value of w squared is left minus 1 is equal to 0. Then immediately it becomes clear that I can uh, factor absolute value of w squared minus 1 out from the first term 4 is left minus from the second tor term absolute value of z squared is left okay now the product of these two numbers these are real numbers equals to 0 either this one is 0 or that one is 0 but this cannot be equal to 0 because of this uh, condition given to us so absolute value of w is not 1 so this is not possible because you know that this is possible unless only if that this is plus or minus 1. Absolute value of a complex number cannot be negative, so that is ruled out. Absolute value of w is not equal to 1 based on the problem, so this is definitely not equal to 0 because of the conditions given in the problem. So this means that the second one is 0. When the second one is 0, it means the absolute value of z squared is actually 4. Uh, squared is 4 but we know that absolute value is positive so there is only one possible number for absolute value and that is absolute value of z is 2 okay so I hope that this video was useful for you if you really find it useful I would appreciate if you can like it and subscribe to my channel this is the best way that you can support me. 
Until the next video, be safe and goodbye. Thank you.